This video of actress Tarahi Henson, who is discussing her pay and how she would like to quit acting due to her not being compensated fairly, is going around online a lot. If you don't know who she is, she's most known for the movie Hidden Figures. She was in the show Empire. That's the show that Jesse Smollett was in. And right now she's doing a press tour for the movie The Color Purple. And that's where this where this interview is coming from. Now, I'm giving you this as a perspective from somebody who has actressed before and also of somebody that has more of a Republican conservative mindset when it comes to issues like this and I'm gonna break it down and talk about a few different points that she makes and there's typically a lot that's left out when people are discussing pay in a field like acting in the entertainment industry. And it's really fascinating because what when you hear why she's upset in this video, she's actually mad at socialism and capitalism. And I'll tell you why in just a second, but let's watch. I'm just tired of working so hard being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. Mm -hmm. The math ain't mathing. Mm -hmm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. Yes. We don't do this alone. The fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind yes, us. Yes. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top, Uncle Sam is getting 50%. Yes, right? So you'll notice the very first thing that she said that comes off from the money that she earns is 50% goes to Uncle Sam. She lives in California, which is a one-party state. It's a Democrat-run state, and she also supports Democrat. Now, I don't know who she supported in the last election, but I do know that at one point she made a campaign video for Hillary Clinton, and she supports people that have more of a socialist tax. And if you support socialist taxes, if you support things like Tax the Rich, which has been a Democrat platform for quite some time now, you can expect larger income taxes the more money that you earn. That money that you worked for, that money that you earned gets taken right off the top. Not only does that go towards your infrastructure, your public safety and public health, it also goes to other people. So for instance, again, I'm going to assume that she votes Democrat down the ticket. Uh, the state of California actually provides free health care for eligible illegal immigrants. So people that are not even citizen get public services where they're taking that money out of her taxes. It's just so crazy because Democrats, they support all of these utopic ideas, the open borders and the socialism, everyone gets free things, universal income, all of these things. And yeah, it all sounds great. Who doesn't want to run through daisies and sing Kumbaya and jump off into rainbow land like everyone wants that but there is a reality and this is what republicans do they're like hey you might want to take into account the reality uh that you'll have to live with there is a consequence to these policies but they don't until it actually happens to them and then it's like whoa where did my money go okay let's watch the next clip this is when i'm going to get a little bit more into just the entertainment industry and why you might not see as big of a paycheck as what you feel like you deserve make it to their account know that off the top uncle sam is getting 50 percent. Right. okay so do the math now we have five million your team is getting 30 percent or whatever your team is off of what you grossed Sometimes not more. after what uncle sam took now do the math mm. so i just i'm You're tired. I'm, a, I'm only human and and it seems every time i do something and i break another glass ceiling when it's time to renegotiate i'm at the bottom again mm. like i never mm. did what i just did and I'm I'm tired. tired. I'm yeah. tired. 
So she gives the example of $10 million, talks about Uncle Sam takes about 50%, so now you're down to $5 million, and then you have another, could be about 30% that goes to your team. So most actors and actresses that you'll see, they have a manager that'll take about 15%, an agent that'll take about 5%, maybe a lawyer. There could be other, lots of other things that they have on their team that they pay out. So let's put it all together. That's 80% off a $10 million movie. Let's say she makes one movie a year. That's still two million dollars a year and I'm not trying to discredit her being upset because obviously it's irrelevant for the industry that you're in what you're getting paid and what you bring to the table and we'll get to that in a second uh, but you're still in the top 0.01 percent of earners in the entire country and you vote for politicians that uh, basically campaign on progressive taxing so there's that and then the team also the reason you pay them out is because without your team most actors wouldn't have access to the producers the directors the casting directors the studios the auditions they wouldn't have access to any of that and those agents and managers they have access to those things they also do your negotiating and this is a point that a lot of people don't make but your team it is their job to negotiate your worth to the studio that's how they determine your pay and then they go through the contract that's why you pay them because they're negotiating for you. They have every incentive because they get paid a percentage of what you earn. They have every incentive to try and negotiate as much money as possible. And if you feel like they're not negotiating very well for you, it is completely your right to go meet and interview other people to reevaluate your contract or wait until it's up and get yourself a new team. And what the studio is offering has nothing to do with your gender or age or any of that. It has to do with the amount of money that you are going to bring in to that film or that studio. For instance, I saw a side-by-side -side of her and Brad Pitt and with her they had that two million and then Brad Pitt you had like a hundred million or something. Brad Pitt has brought in billions of dollars to studios and that's how the entertainment industry works. It doesn't matter how much experience you have under your belt. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. It matters how much money they feel that you are going to bring to that project. It is a business at the end of the day and all they care about is the bottom line and who's going to make them money. That's it. They don't even really care if you have talent. It's hard for some people to hear that, a lot of people to hear that, which is why I think you hear them not even attempt to go there. But a lot of times we might think our worth is a little bit more than it is and that sucks. It hurts the ego, but it, it just is what it is. For instance, when I was in Hollywood auditioning, my jobs were in like the hundreds. If I was lucky, maybe there was an extra zero on the end, but that was because, it wasn't because I didn't have work under my belt. It wasn't because I didn't work hard. It wasn't because I didn't have talent. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. That's, I guess, <laughs> that's subjective. But it was because nobody knew who I was. I wasn't bringing, as far as money, I wasn't bringing that much to a table. The table, you work your way up, and unfortunately, there are actors that have been there for years, and they're not making what Brad Pitt makes. One of my favorite stories was Reese Witherspoon, and this is before she had her own production company where she produced a lot of her most notable films. But uh, she was complaining about her husband, sort of about similar things. It wasn't about necessarily money though, just complaining that a woman her age, there just weren't any good roles available to her that were interesting. And uh, I don't even think he showed her a lot of sympathy. He just looked at her and he said, why don't you just produce your own films? You have the resources, you have the connections, you know, you have this, you have the ability, why don't you have your own production company and produce your own films? And that's essentially what she did. She started taking books and turning them into films. And one of her first ones she did this with was Wild. Anyway, thought I would share that. I just thought that was really interesting being upset at the socialist tax system, but also being upset at a free market sort of capitalist structure that is Hollywood. <laughs> but there it is. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.